All right, so coming out of the gate first, on the final row, is the South Burnett 24 of Clinton Lawrence. Alongside him will be the CR46 of Darren Brumpton. Next car out, it's the Gimby 22 of Bevan Burton. And next car out in the BMW, it's Brock Morris. Next through the gate in the beautifully presented Sigma, Jordan Schultz. And Ryan Schultz in the 43. The Scorpion, Pitchfork there, Rockhampton 12. In the Pulsar, Matt Bilby. In the Sunshine Coast, 72, Mark Littlehouse. Gary Cartwright is your next one. In the, in the Gibby number 10, we get to our top 10, Harrison Chan in the number 14. Position 9 will be Rodney Madolo. Position number 8 in the Sylvia is Andrew Pickering. At position number 7, the Gibby 52 of Alistair Mathers. At a position number six, it's the Gimpy number five of Daryl Oliver. Our top five from New South Wales, it's Brody King. And our front two rows, driving the Weir Escort, it's Dennis Shellcross. Position number three in the Lancer, Brock Hancock. And our front row, for our Queensland title, position number two is Bundaberg 21, Frank Packer. And to defend his Queensland title for the second time, it's Tim Weir. That is your starters for our 40 lap National 4 A-Main. And what a field of cars we have. Certainly one to see. Oh, they're going to do the four salute too, Brendan. This is great. Great to see there behind the CFM 93.9 as well. Out in front with the flashing lights on as they're going to do the four car salute. So make some noise for them as they come around for all you drivers. Let them hear that you're here to cheer them on. Can we go three to three, back to back, or can Frank Packer? Take a Queensland title, or Shellcross, Hancock, there's a few in there, let's make some noise as well. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. You've been searching in the dark, sweat soaking through the floor. And buried in your bones, there's an ache that you can't ignore. Taking your breath, stealing your mind, and all that was real is left behind. Don't fight it, it's coming for you, running at you. It's only this moment, don't care what comes after. Your fever dream, can't you see, getting closer Just surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over It's fire, it's freedom, it's blood and open It's a breach around the puppet and you find your motion There's something taken at the break of every world is open All that you know, so tell me where you wanna go Where it's coming, I'm a color of light Where the blood of my ears are running in the night What's it all come to, it's taking over you it certainly is the greatest show for Cylinder Title for Queensland. Brad, Brandon, what a great night we've had so far. This is going to culminate into a 40-lap feature. This is going to be excellent. You know, it certainly will. 
I'll tell you what, I'm a little bit bugger but doing them frisbees there. Mate, it's great to see the kids all enjoying themselves and making some noise here. As I said, this is going to be interesting. Absolutely flown by tonight. The races have been run at a cracking pace. Lights are out. This is your 93.9 Hits FM National Fours Queensland title for the year of 19 and 20. Can Tim Weir do it from front row? Ken Packer, match him. Revs rise and away we go. Up and away, Queensland title time. Ken Packer will be the leader as you make our way through one and two. They're side by side. Plenty of drive on the inside of the racetrack as Weir gets back. As they're three and four wide there in the final row as Lawrence goes into the wall, exiting the final corner. That's Weir from Packer. And going to make it through our first lap relatively unscathed. Oh, as Oliver checks up, Chian gets all crossed over. He's going to spin in front of the field. The field is going to keep going and unfortunately for Harris, he's going to find himself at the Hell bottom of the racetrack. Off. As Dennis has made a mistake, he's going to drop back about 10 spots. But it's still we are the leader. Fortunately, is out of this one. Chian now got to make his way back through the field after being stuck behind the slowing Oliver car. Now across just tags the fence again, coming out of turn four. Well, back to our race leaders through three and four. You still got Weir out in front, followed by Frank Packer as well. Hancock's there, still hanging on for third. With the 46 machine still there as well. We're pickering then. As well as with Dolo, Ed, and then we still got Shellcross rounding out the top seven. As they're starting to come up on some lap fields now as well. As a lap flag comes out for Schultz, we goes low. Packer actually follows him as well. Gives him a little bit of a hurry up through the tunnels of turn. As they go up the inside of the three of the back markers there as they go through the back once again. Out of turn number four, still got our race leaders. Still got back there, Brooke Hancock as well. And Pickering still back there in fifth as they go through the Tattlesall's turn once again. Race is going on all over the racetrack, but it's Weir and Packer still there at the front. Packer has not let Weir get any sort of distance, and it's just going to get harder as the race goes on. As Brad said, 40 laps a long way tyre from deflating or running out of rubber. Hancock now being balked for some traffic there in third spot. He's got King for company now on the outside in the 46 machine. Morris gets into the fence. Comes down on the inside. They both make it through. Pickering now trying to make his way through the lap traffic, but it's still Weir from Packer. So they go around the slower car. Of car right now. Packer's on the inside. Off Weir down the back straight away. Oh, oh it's like a crosses around. And Shellcross has spun in the far corner. And, and the 24 is slowing. Roll on the main straight. Did you see that? Packer and Packer and Weir are over that far top corner of the Tattersall turn. One ran over the other. I don't know how Frank even got out of that. And I, I reckon Weir might even have a bit of trouble on that front tyre as well. Yeah, it was quite heavy contacts. What I was watching is uh, Brad was gesturing that there was a car around behind me. But... Uh, Frank got on the inside. It's down the back shoot. The lights are out. We are going green this time around. 2020. Full cylinder title. Here we go, Brandon. Set for a start now. The uh, Sierra doesn't like going from stop to start quickly, so it's a chance for Packer to make some ground. But makes a liar on me as we get back underway for our Queensland title. Packer still on the back of Weir. Weir gets a bit out of shape, exiting turn two. And Packer now going to try the outside of the racetrack in the 21. Can he get the drive there? Sits the car up on those haunches. Not much going on as we've got a parking lot in turn three. I just got Dale here out of the Honda. Gimpy number five, mate. 
that's not the way you want to start it. I hope it wasn't me jinxing you. A bit of an interview there. Uh, no worries, mate. Just want to thank all my sponsors. Um, I stripped second gear out of the car, so there's no good continuing. Thanks, mate. Thanks, thanks, um, Karina Speedway. They've put on a great show for us. Thank you. No worries, mate. Well, thanks for coming, and hopefully you can get it fixed, and we can see you around the traps very shortly. And I appreciate everything you are all done as a tight group because I know that most of you get along, and it's great to see that there's so many back in the class as well. Yeah, it's, it's a great class. As uh, so many people put in so much hard work to uh, produce these um, events, I want to thank everybody. Thank you. Right, yeah, well, there we have it. Medolo car. We will get set for a start. Lights are out, here we go. We are from Packer, Hancock, King, Pickering, Shellcross. Lights go green and away we go. Down the front, Packer again. Does he try the top side? Didn't work last time. Chian tries to make his way through the field with another move on Brompton. Packer. What's he got for the Sierra? Gets the car on the inside of the racetrack. As Chian goes past the little house. Brad, could you even turn now, his lights off? Brad. As we make our way through the final corner. Still, no pass from Packer. Really trying to make something work around the outside. Yeah. Brad, can you get him to turn his lights off? Now it's through the final corner once again. A bit of a gap over now between Weir and Packer. Hancock still there in third place from King. Pickering's the next one from Shellcross. Pretty spaced out. As we get into our lap traffic, oh, and the lights have come on once again as Lawrence is facing the wrong way in the same part of the racetrack that it's been all night, Brad. Yeah, we just got an update. Um, left ankle, just um, just a little bit stiff and sore, so he's just over here having a look. That's Mandolo having a look at the left ankle, so not sure which way he went because we know that it's got the... Is it the fifth arm, I think, in the back of that set up there, Brendan, in Packer's car? Yeah, it's uh, one hell of a set up. You can see just how much movement the left rear has when he stands on the gas. It absolutely stands up, something like a like a late model almost or a super sedan. It's quite unreal, but we're set for a start once again. And uh, I'll let you call this start no as we get set. The lights are out, ready to go. Cones out as well. Timmy Weir has got the jump. Frank Packer's right here as well. Rock Hancock still back in their third. Here comes Pickering having a look. Up on the side of the 46 through the Tattlesall's turn. we got a wheel off on a car here as well, rolling down the straight. In the turn number two. Yeah, it's off the Gimby 22, Burton. Running on three wheels on the back straight away. I'll see if I can grab his attention. We'll tell him over the... Left hand rear. Good to have a look at that one too, Brendan, because we've had a couple of centers pulled out of wheels here tonight, so. Once again, probably Revhead Productions have caught that on their DVDs. Look, folks, if you've chased a DV off, off some of this great racing here tonight. Off the racetrack. Still Unfortunate. Lights are out oh, once again. Suga, we are out in front as they come up to the cone. Let's see if they've got in the back this time. It's a good jump, Packer's still back there in second as well, Brock Hancock is there, 46, have a look at Shellcross on the side of Pickering, out on the Tattles' hotel as they go down the back chute once again. They're down through three and four, Packer's still on the back of Timmy Weir as the field sorts themselves out after that last restart. Through one and two, Packer not letting Weir get any sort of distance. Shellcross settling up again for another attack on the back of Pickering. He goes to the top side again, but it's very, very slippery. And the number seven, down the mat three they come. Packer starting to try that high line. As he goes into turn number one, he's right on the back of Weir. 
Rock Hancock hits that wall on the way through. Down into two and three and four. Have a look at these guys. They are putting this on well and truly here at Karina. Side-by-side -side action. Nearly three wide as they come past the control tower. Back through the tunnel. And they go again down the back street. Still got We are out in front. As the 12 car pulls up against the fence to get out of their road. Still got Paco there, hard on his tail as they come out of turn number four as well there to shoot. Then back to Brock Hancock as well there in the 53. With the 46 as well and Pickering still there as well. This is far from over as go down the back street once again. Still there you got Timmy Weir right in the gutter. Frank Park is still just sitting there having a look at the moment. I reckon he's going to go to the high side soon. Still got Brock Hancock. He's having a look on the high side now. Out of the tackles turn. Down the back shoot. Packer on the outside of Timmy Wheeler in the turn number three. Packer will take the race lead. As he goes down in the turn number one. Timmy Wheeler's back in the second. Don't write Timmy off at the moment. As they go through the Tattlesall's turn once again. Still back to Brock Hancock as well in the third. Here comes Pickering. Having a look for fourth place as well. Lot of 46 is up against the boards. As he comes past the start finish line. Still got Shell Cross. Up there as well in the eighth place again. Absolutely ticking the laps away now. Packer, your leader from Weir, the Sierra. Not dealing with the slick racetrack is Pickering. Tries to make a move in third spot. Hancock takes the wall, takes the back of Pickering. Pick, get the boot in. And he's going to hold down that third spot. Shellcross had a terrible couple of laps and he's found himself back behind Harrison Cheon as Packer tries to make his way through some of the lap traffic. It's Packer from Weir, from Pickering, Hancock and King. Bilby's moved himself now into sixth. Great racing as Pitchhawk retires with a front, inside front tyre. Down the back straight they come. In the final corner, Weir goes underneath 24 of Lawrence. The track very, very slick and Packer has tuned the 21 to the track absolutely phenomenally. The back shoot they go pack has still got a little bit of a, a lead there over Timmy Weir as he goes around the we got, outside. We got one up on the wall, one up on the wall, far side. Brock Hancock. Hancock. In the wall over near the table's turn. Not quite sure, did you see that Terry? No I didn't, I only just looked over and saw him parked over near the flashing lights. It's unfortunate for Hancock, he's uh, been right on it all night. I'd say that some of that contact he had when he was on the outside of Pickering over here might have hurt something and he's gone in the wall once again on the far side. So we are at lumber, uh, lap 19 at the present, so we'll go back one I believe, and so uh, 22 to go still. As we said, 22 to go still, 22 laps to go, not even quite halfway yet. We is right behind him, the cone is out. They got a great old oh, Weir's outside straight away through one and two now he's gonna duck down Pickering's there but as well I'm here there goes Weir oh it's gonna shoot it down the inside of Packer what's Packer got Packer's gone up high Weir's come back down through the inside taking over the race lead Pickering is up in the third showed the nose underneath Frank Packer as well as they go back through the Tattlesall's turn this is far from over Race here at the moment. Chance made contact with the wall out of turn two. The car bouncing violently in the front right hand corner. But we're back to our leaders. Pickering now wants to battle in to this front two. We are regaining the laps to go, starting to put some distance between himself and Packer. As Shellcross has found the on switch and it's right up with this front group now. Has he got anything for these leaders? To make your way down the main straightaway. Shellcross goes past that of King. Try to move himself in a fourth spot. This Sierra slowing once again as Packer makes his way to the rear bumper. Although Queensland number one. 
as the laps tick away. Pickering is not going away either. He's right there in the 51. Down the main street they go into turns one and two. Packer right on the curb trying to find a way through. Dog shell cross back there in four spot with King and Bilby. Through the final corner, the Sierra on the bottom. Packer there as well. Down the main straight, they go and Pickering wants to die for it. Goes to the inside of Packer, can't find a way through. Laps ticking away now. Again Pickering, dives down the inside of Packer. In the 51 machine. As the Sierra goes even lower on the racetrack, getting the front left wheel up as Pickering has made the pass. Up in the second spot. As they race it, comes out of the Tattlesall's turn and goes down the back street in the turn number three. Still got wheel out in front. Pickering is on the charge. He's caught up in the second. Now pass. Frank Packer as well. Shell crosses up in the fourth place. And then back to Darren as well in the 46. As they go through the Tattlesall's turn once again, they'll have about 16 laps to go. As they head up through the top, through three and four, still got Weir out in front as a little escort in front. It's going to go down a lap tag defence. As Weir goes underneath the inside, Pickering's there as well. Shell Cross is having a look at Frank Packer. Back in third and fourth, Darren still there as well in the 46 in the fifth place. Pickering has got this car worked up. He's tapping the back bumper. The big Queensland champion in the 51. This would be absolutely massive for Andrew. He's gone on the outside of the Sierra. Down the back straightaway. Doesn't have the speed this time by. Into the final corner again. All over the back of the number one. Timmy definitely lifting the car early as they go down the main straightaway. Not sure if he's conserving fuel, but he is lifting a lot earlier than that of Pickering. As you make your way through turns one and two once again. Packer still there in third spot. Shell cross for King and Bilby. That's your running order. As Pickering still in the back as the Sierra slows mid-corner again. Pickering trying the outside now. There's a race in two as Pickering goes to the outside, the car getting sideways through the turn number two, down the back straight away. It is anyone's guess what could happen now. Schultz is the next one to go a lap down as King goes past Shellcross in the escort. In the Tattlesall's turn they go once again. Oh, they're crying. Here's Paul in as well on a 14 machine. Weir goes around the outside. Schultz. Put another lap down. Pickering's there as well. Back oh, lost Frank the left rear. He's slowing, so it's put Shellcross up in the third now. Darren in the 46 has gone in the fourth. Not sure what happened with Packer. Someone's broke. But he's circling around there in the pole line on the gutter. So back to our race leader. Packer has pulled in. Such bad luck for there for Frank Packer. We are... Still out in front. Pickering not far behind as they go through the Tattersall's turn once again. Still got Shellcross hanging on for third. Darren on the outside in the 46. As well for fourth place. It's early not over yet. Down the main street they come. Pickering drifted back from Weir. As Weir stepped up the pace or as Pickering dropped off. As Shellcross. Goes around the outside of Schultz. He's got King for company. The battle is on for the final spot on the podium. But it's Weir, still your leader. From Pickering. Little bit of smoke coming out of the back of Pickering's car. You can see when he backs off into the corners. He's getting a tower smoke. It's getting larger, Brandon. The smoke was there. Number two in the heat, number three, I think it was. Brandon picked up on. Oh, he tags the wall too. Down the back straight. Can he keep it going? Still got Weir out in front through turn number four. Pickering still there as well. Shellcross has got a little bit of a buffer now in third place. But that smoke is starting to certainly trail. It's when he's backs off as well. Darren still back there as well. Fourth place in the 46 car as well with the 13 now in the fifth. 
Can't be too many laps left to go in this one. As down the main straight, the leaders come. We've got the around in the Tattlesall's turn. He's kept it going on to pull the lights on. Oh, the lights on. So we're at lap 36. We are lap 36. Well, it'll go back to 36 anyway. It's at uh, 37, but we'll go back to 36. Right, are we just, just down here with the 53 machine? I brought. Well, mate, that's certainly not the way you want to finish it. Something actually break. We could we actually all missed it here in the infield because we're looking looking a bit further up in the back. But mate, you were certainly fast there tonight. Yeah, mate. Um, I tagged the wall coming out of four. Did a couple of laps. I felt a bit of a rattle come into one and two, and she just let go. The drive shaft snapped, so I had nowhere. I was just going straight for the wall. Well, mate, like it's unfortunate that's motor racing, as we all know, but. Keep your head high because I tell you what, you certainly had it on song here this weekend. Yeah, cheers, mate. Yeah, she was going pretty good. Um, massive thanks to Dad and everyone that helps me out and all the fans and whatnot, for, and especially Bundy for putting it on. It was a great race, and um, good luck to everyone else. Keep going. No worries, mate. Thank you very much. Still got the lights you drive on. hard, but if you drive too hard, then the slickness will, will bite you, and it'll either bite you with a flat tyre or in the fence. So a lot of work to do. For some cars, but we're ready to go again. And Pickering giving we are a bit of space as we get set for a start. Shellcross and King and Bilby. Lights go green and away we go. Shellcross wants to be the first one to make the move. Tries to go on the outside of Pickering. Can't do it this time. Down the back straight they come as King now tries to move himself onto the podium. Drew one and two. Pickering still second spot from Shellcross. Down the main straight they come. Through one and two. Only about three and a half laps remaining. Can anyone catch Tim Weir? As so they go through three and four. Pickering slowing a bit. He's got a lot of angry cars behind him. Oh, Shellcross. Goes for it on the inside of the 51. Big dive there. Oh, a long way back. He gets the drive out of the corner as Pickering goes into the fence. And is it going to be a 1 2 as they get the white flag this time around? Down the front straight they come. Last time around the speedway. Via National 4, Queensland top. As the cars made their way down the back straight away, Tim Weir takes the car lightly through the final corner and he's your winner, Tim Weir. Dennis Shellcross gets over second, Andrew Pickering, Brady King and Matt Bilby are your top five, Little Howes and Schultz. Lawrence and Schultz is your field. But that is your Queensland title for National Fours and give it up for your three-time in a row winner, Tim Weir. What some phenomenal racing by the uh, four cylinders, National Fours, great racing. Timmy we are taking the win from Dennis Shellcross, Andrew Pickering, Brody King and Matt Bilby. They are your top five. Celebratory donuts by Timmy Weir over the far side. Have a look at that, folks. There might be any smoke, but we've got definitely a cloud of dust. He steps out of the car. Queensland champion Tim Weir. Huge drive, massive, massive uh, race. 40 laps, and uh, he definitely didn't have it his own way, Brad. He cert certainly didn't, but it certainly made history here as well. That's three in a row. It's very great to see as well. As he gets, gets his gear off, we'll get them all sorted.
grab an interview and then we'll um, get the trophies underway. As he gets his helmet off. Well, Roger, congratulations, Tim. Three in a row, mate. Um, the way you wanted, I'm sure there's a few up here, a few people you'd like to thank down there in the pits as well. Uh, certainly, that didn't come easy, though. Frank Packer just gave me the race of my lifetime. Uh, it's good to see some real strong cars in the division now, but got to thank my girlfriend, Tanil, for all her support over the last few weeks. Justin, even though he couldn't race tonight, but he still came and worked on the car. Dad, my uncle and auntie came up from Brisbane to watch. Congratulations to Dennis, too, on the podium. Yeah, no, it's a great to see the one two on the podium as well. And um, unfortunately, as you said, for Frank Packer, but it was overheating dramas there with the car. But, mate, I'll tell you what, it was a great, great here for everyone here in the four-cylinder class. You all get together and you all work as a tight-knit group. And to have 28 nominated and 26 here turn up tonight, that's great. Absolutely. It's fantastic to see the uh, strong car count. we also got to thank you guys here at Bundaberg for supporting the four-cylinders, the National Fours. We... We get a hard time at other tracks, but it's, uh, we're so happy you take us seriously. Radio, well, we'll get the trophies underway now, and we'll get them sorted out as we can just get a few more photos, and then we'll get these trophies and sashes. Waiting for a National 4 Queensland title, and in uh, fifth place tonight, it's uh, Philby, fantastic drive in the 13. We'll uh, grab Matt here. Fantastic race, Matt. It's always great to see you here uh, in Bundy and a long race, but great job on fifth place. Thanks, mate. That was a really tough one. I started out of 13, so had to work the way through. Bumped into a few cars, bit of damage. The track got better and better. I love the track tonight, so thanks to Karina for putting on an awesome track. And congratulations to all the drivers. That was an awesome race, guys. Um, can I thank a couple of people? Absolutely. I just want to thank the family for supporting us, Braden, Megan, Tony. Um, also, I'd like to thank our engine builder, Pete Bagley. He did a great job, obviously, because they're up the front here. Uh, MGM Injectors and Auto Pro Noosa. Thank you. Awesome job, Matt, on our fifth place for your, uh, your Queensland title. Congratulations. All right, we'll uh, now get our fourth place out. In the number 46, Brody King. Great drive. Brody, fourth place in the Queensland title. Uh, first time at Karina, I believe, as well. Um, did a fantastic job in the car, looking fantastic. Yeah, the car went really well tonight. I uh, can't thank my dad enough. Uh, just wouldn't be here without him. Um, thanks to my beautiful girlfriend, Emma, for coming and watching. My family, um, Mum, Shannon, uh, Glenn Brock, my sponsor, Armstrong Excavations and Zip Time Man. Um, congratulations to Tim, great drive, uh, and all the other boys. And I've had a great night up here, and I'm, I'll probably be back another day. So. That's awesome to hear. Great drive. Brody King, your fourth place get out for this Queensland title. In third place, great battle there for second as well. In the car 51 is Andrew Pickering.
Well, Andrew, that's um, certainly the way we like to finish, probably a bit, a bit further up, but third, you've got to be pretty happy. Yeah, I brought it home from third from about the same starting position last year. Nearly got up to the front this time round, clipped the fence about 10 to go and just had to nurse it home, so I'm happy with what I got. <laughs> and I'm sure there's a lot of people there behind the scenes as well you'd like to thank as well with the car. Yeah, we've got uh, Patrick at Power Curve, who does my dyno tuning for me. Uh, we've got Brett Hancock, who looks after the paint a little bit every now and then for me. And, uh, yeah, just me mum and me dad. The old man still comes out and helps me along, keeps me enthusiastic about it. <laughs> no worries. Well, congratulations, and um, I'll let you soak this one up, and hopefully we can see you back next time around the traps. Thank you very much. Rodeo in second place, and I'm not quite sure. I see him there halfway through the race, and he did this as he drove through the infield, but Dennis Shellcross. Right, yeah, well, in second, Dennis, I don't know, mate, do you just um, like making things hard for yourself or what? It seemed that way. I, I sucked at the start. I didn't know what I was doing, but um, I got away with it. <laughs> yeah, mate, like as I said, you were there, and then you went all the way back to the back, and then you come back through, and then I think it's about 10 to go. You drove past me in the infield there and just put your hands up. I'm like, well, not quite sure what that means, but I think you're... Um, Pretty happy with yourself, but you're just very confused with the car and a few things that were going on. Yeah, the track. I don't know what the track did. Yeah, don't know, but we were right in the end. Just had to cruise around, that's all. Well, mate, the main thing is you brought it home for second. You've got to be pretty proud, and um, it's still on four wheels, so that's got to be a good thing. Yeah, I don't think I put too much of a scratch on it this weekend, so that's the best part. <laughs> right, yeah, well, there's our second place. And our winner, three in a row... Here's Timmy Weir. This says we're getting photos done, and before we forget, I'd like to thank another big thanks as well to Hits FM 93.9 for coming on board, mate. We appreciate it so much, and we'll see you next next month for the junior title. Well, Tim, I spoke to you a little bit earlier tonight, and you did today tonight, and you said that you um just wanted to come here and see what happened, and if it happened, it happened. You were pretty well just happy to be here. So, but mate, three in a row. I've got to shake your hand. That's definitely well <laughs> worth it. And, mate, I'm sure you've got heaps of people you'd like to thank as well. Yeah, you're right. I just wanted to come here and whatever happened, happened. To achieve the three in a row first time in National Falls is a really cool achievement. But, yeah, I've got to thank and again, Dad, Tanil, my uncle and auntie, everyone that helps out on the cars. All means a lot. Also, I've got to thank Hits 93.9 as well for sponsoring our title. No worries, mate. Well, you didn't have it all your way, as you said before, with Frank Packer as well. But it was great to see then you had even Andrew Pickering there knocking on the door as well. But... The track was a bit funny, as the boys said, a little bit black down the bottom. And at turn one and two and three and four, it wasn't too bad. But in the end, that's what makes it all tricky and and up and down for you. But in the end, it all come good, and um, we put a great show on for you, I think. Yeah, right. To be honest, I had no idea what I was doing out there. The track was changing every lap. You try one thing one lap, and it didn't work the next. But it made for an exciting race. Have Pico come up around me towards the end gave me a bit of a fright. But, yeah, I can't wait to rewatch this race. Rightio, well there's our top five and I'll jump out of the road as I'm getting told to, so put your hands together for our top five for the Queensland title.